Hey, it's Mike with Fleetwood RV. Today we're going to take a look at the model year 2024 Discovery LXE 44B. This unit features rear bunks, and if you don't need the bunks, the top bunk folds up and it's a full walk-in closet. So this is the Discovery LXE 44B. This exterior graphic is Everglades. We do have six total graphics in the Discovery LXE, and that is Battlefield, Carenza, Montezuma, Plantation, and Redwood. But neat for 20 or model year 2024 is we started doing these drop shadows. So it makes the paint graphic look like it has a 3D, has depth to it. Looks really, really nice, and we've had a lot of good feedback from it. But let's start up front, look at some of the features, and we'll work our way back. So first of all, the Discovery LXC has the L9 engine. This has 450 horsepower and 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. So power is not an issue in the Discovery LXC. This is a tag axle model, so our front suspension is independent front suspension. And a nice thing about the independent front suspension is that this wheel turns at 60 degrees. That is gonna really, really increase your turn radius. I guess it'll be decreasing your turn radius. We'll move back. Our first luggage compartment is standard. It's just gonna be pure storage, but this is an option. So this has the external freezer, comes out on a slide and we have 110 and 12 volt power in the back. And this, this freezer can be removed and uh, took with you as well. So very functional there. Our next compartment is storage again. It comes standard with a pull-out tray. So this can be this can be accessed from either side of the motorhome. The first one is standard, and then we can have that exact same thing put in the uh, box right here beside it. On the exterior television, we got a 50 inch TV. It is on a swivel. So no matter where you're sitting underneath your patio, uh, you'll be able to see it. And we have a sound bar right behind it that really enhances the audio on the outside. We mentioned those awnings. So right above on the Discovery LXE, you get the roof mount Gerard awnings. That spans the whole length of the motorhome. This is a 44 foot motorhome. So we have about 40 foot of uh, awning coverage there. The box right behind the exterior entertainment center is storage again. We have a rock guard that comes standard for the Discovery LXEs, our two piece ladder. But while you're down here looking at the basement, one thing that's really different about a Discovery LXC is we have two seven and a half inch I-beams that run across the whole length of the motorhome from front to back. That's really increasing the stability of this unit. So we virtually have no flex from corner to corner on a 44 foot motorhome. And that's because an I-beam doesn't twist like a C-channel does. So anytime you get a Discovery LXC and you see that Freedom Bridge badge, that's what it's talking about. Our next compartment is kind of a utility compartment. So we have our central vac system right here. We have 110 up top. Surge guards, this is your transfer switch where it goes from shore power to your generator. It's all done internally, nothing you have to worry about as a customer. A 30 amp MPP solar charger, our battery control center, and our slide out disconnect switch. One of the questions I get asked is, does your solar panels charge your batteries? And the answer to that is yes. Even if your disconnect's off, it's because the solar panel goes into your battery control center uh, before the slide out disconnect. So if your disconnects are off, your batteries are still charging via solar. So in the back, I mentioned we got a tag axle here. This is a passive steer tag axle. This one turns at 17, I'm sorry, 12 degrees. So that's gonna give you a 17% reduction in your turn radius versus a fixed tag axle. Our next compartment is storage, all metal. So that's one thing we do unique here at Fleetwood is we don't put any wood in our basement. 
The Discovery LXC is either composite or steel. Wood rots, wood needs to be replaced. And uh, that's something we don't wanna pass on to the customer. So everything you see here from our belt line down is all steel. And from our belt line up is all aluminum. And that's done strategically because that's how you control sway, the wobble back and forth by a lower center of gravity. And I tell a lot of customers, you know, put a golf ball on top of a straw and it's gonna be real wobbly. Put it on the bottom of the straw and it's gonna be real stable. And that's the only thing you're doing is channeling that weight. And that's the same concept we're doing here in the Discovery LXE. Our last compartment is our inverter. So this is a 2800 watt inverter and we have our inverter disconnect switch right there. So if you're, if you're uh, getting to your unit and your um, theater seating's not working, your fireplace isn't working, your articulating bed's not working, your refrigerator, anything like that, first thing you wanna do is just make sure this inverter disconnect switch is on. So we'll jump over to the back of the unit. We have a camera up top that has one-way audio. So your spotter can talk to you, but your spotter can't hear you. You can just hear them. Uh, Two-piece ladder. We like the two-piece ladder. It's a little bit safer at the campground. You have to worry about people climbing up on your uh, motorhome that you don't want up there or the kids playing around. Down below, we have brake sync right here. So this is already prepped for your tow vehicle. So when you go buy an Air Force One or whatever to, for your vehicle, you can just plug it straight into here. And this is a standalone system. So it has its own tank. So if something happens to your brake line, it doesn't affect your primary braking. And right here is a lanyard. So just like your air compressor at home, pull this lanyard every once in a while just to make sure, make sure no moisture is building up in, uh, in your tank there. We have a 15,000 pound hitch and you can tow a full 15,000 pounds with the Discovery LXE because we have a 15,000 pound gap between our gross vehicle weight rating and our gross combined weight rating. So you can load this down to the, to the max gross vehicle weight rating and still tow 15,000 pounds. Coming over to the driver's side, right here's our house batteries. The Discovery LXE has six house batteries. There's four of them right here. Behind that is our air cleaner. Whenever you go to replace your air filter, it's that whole thing. There's not an element inside of it. You replace that whole metal part right there. Makes it a little bit easier. And right here is the other two house batteries. And then the two up top are our starting batteries. So if you go to jump your vehicle, make sure you're jumping your um, starting batteries, not your house batteries. Right here we have a 13 gallon DEF tank. And your DEF is, using about two and a half percent of your um, fuel consumption. Inside this compartment is our wash down bay. So the Discovery LXC comes with all of your cords and hoses on a power reel. And then we have caps down below. So you can actually run this out, stick it down the cap, close the cap, and you can still shut and lock your luggage compartment. Then we have a Whole house filter. This is recommended to be changed every 8,000 gallons. Uh, water pump, gravity fill for your fresh tank. And then if you reach back here, you got a blue lever and this will be the drain for your fresh water tank as well. Low point drains for when you're winterizing your vehicle and your water bypass. We have a little exterior shower right here. So if you need to spray off any camping equipment or the dog's feet or something, that can be done in here without going inside. And 110 hookups right here. But one neat thing about how we do our tanks, if we look at the bottom here, we do wedged tanks. So as you can see, that is our fresh tank. Then we come over to our black tank right there. The bottom of our black tank is literally three inches wide. So the good thing about that is there's no chance of mounting really. The black tank comes down and then it's tilted towards the drain. So there's no bottom surface. If the bottom was this wide and bowed up, then all of the debris sets in the corners and starts getting hard and mounting up Then your uh, sensors are not right. So that's something you're not gonna have to worry about with Fleetwood. The next compartment is pass-through storage. We're gonna repeat this three times. Next compartment again is all pass-through storage. And for the third time, this compartment is all passed through storage as well. So you can see there's plenty of storage that you get with this uh, modular bridge that we use. 
The compartment up front is our AquaHot 400D. So this is an all electric coach. There's no propane on board. The AquaHot's gonna do all of your water needs and it's gonna do your interior heat. And that will run by diesel or it'll run by electricity. So if you were doing light loads, uh, if not, it's not real cold out or you're just taking one or two showers, you can run it off electricity. And um, good thing about the AquaHot though is it doesn't pull any humidity out of the air. So with a propane furnace, when you wake up and you're all itchy or your sinuses are irritated, that's because there's no humidity in the air. So with the AquaHot, that's something you're never gonna have to worry about. And then the last compartment, pretty standard up here, our windshield washer fluid. But one thing I wanna point out is the two air chucks up there. So one of them is going to supply air to the motorhome. This is all air ride. So your brakes, when there's no air in your system, your brakes are applied. You put air into your system, it releases your brakes. So if for some reason you broke down and you need to be towed, if there's no air in the system, you would be, your brakes would be locked up. So the tow company can just put an air chuck in there, put air into the system, release your brakes. And then the other one is to supply air. So if you need to blow out wood chips out of your compartment or fill up toys for the kids or whatever, it can be done from there as well. Up front, we have a 8K generator that's underneath this slide. This slide does come out. There's two levers here. They, so one will unlock it. And then for safety reasons, we have a cotter pin right here as well. So you gotta pull both of them out. If you just unlock it and pull it out, it's not gonna come. So make sure you do that cotter pin as well. And then right here is a metal reinforced handle to pull it out. I wouldn't grab under here because you're just pulling on fiberglass, but right there's metal. You can pull that out. And then that shows our 8K generator right here. So that's the walk around of the exterior of the unit. Let's jump inside and look at some of the interior features. So now we're inside the 44B. Let's take a look at some of the amenities and the access we have while this unit's closed up in travel mode. So we're in the galley right now. We have full access to the microwave, sink, and stove. The dinette, clear access there as well. The pantry on the 44B is right here. And the refrigerator, we have plenty of room to get to the refrigerator. And then on the other side, we have our mid bath. I would say we have 20 inches or so to get in there. So, and then we move back to the bedroom. We have full access to the bedroom as well. Now this bed does have to be up in travel mode, um, but there is still plenty of room to lay this way. The, the bed is actually only a couple inches shorter this way than it is this way. But the fact that this does articulate, it gives you a great spot to sit and have a cup of coffee in the morning, uh, watch TV, or to read a book at night. But the big benefit of it is it gives us all of this storage over here on this side. And right below, we have a side-by-side uh, -side washer and dryer. So if this bed did not articulate, none of this stuff over here would be possible. But we'll take a look at those features a little bit more uh, when we get this unit opened up and get it prepped in camping mode. So here's the Discovery LXE 44B, all opened up in travel mode. This particular interior decor is Ridgeland and we have it paired with the winter fall cabinetry. We do have three other cabinet options. One is Metropolitan, one is Sedona, and the other one is Roasted Almond. So if you wanna see what all these cabinets uh, look like and the different decors, make sure you go to fleetwoodrv.com and we have all of our decors, cabinetry options, exterior paints, uh, listed on there as well. So let's jump up front and look at some of the features and we'll work our way back. So in the cockpit area, over here on the left hand side, we have our blind controls. So the front has electric blinds. We have our tag dump. So if you're making those tight turns and you wanna release the pressure off that back axle, you can do that right here. The little glowing light is for our heated mirrors. We have a digital dash. This was actually pulled out of a Mercedes S-Class, but with 20, all of our 2024s have tire pressure monitoring, as you can see right there. So that does our temperature and it does our pressure. 
The temperature is probably more important than the pressure is because before a tire fails, typically you're gonna see that pressure rise dramatically versus the other three. And then we have dual monitors. This is a, it's a big safety feature. So we put dual monitors in most of our units. So this one here is gonna be dedicated to our navigation and our entertainment. And then this one over here is gonna be dedicated to our cameras all the time. And we can flip our mode button here and go through different layouts. If you wanna see one, two, three cameras, uh, whatever you choose to do. Down below, we have our auxiliary start. So if you go to jump in your unit and it's not gonna start for you, this button, if you hold it down, will transfer the power from your house batteries into your starting batteries. That way you can start your unit. We have our generator, uh, radio, if you put it in park or travel mode, keyless entry for your entry door, and then our dome lights right there. We'll jump up top and look at some of the uh, components behind these cabinets. So right here, we have our Wii Boost. This is gonna boost your cell phone signal. We have our satellite controls and our TV lockout right here. So coming from the factory, no, this does not work. So you cannot watch the football game while you're traveling down the road. And then right here, is our Wi-Fi Ranger. This is the uh, password and the code you're gonna have to have to connect all of your devices to your Wi-Fi Ranger. So that's located right here. This is our um, module for our Firefly system. So we have the technology package in here. So this is gonna be your Eclipse module. So this unit can be controlled anywhere in the world as long as you have Wi-Fi connection. The, the switch up here is gonna be for our top bunk. So when you drop this down, Right here will be your light switch so the kids don't have to have the lights on all the time because that does come on automatically. And then our satellite button right there. And then we have a couple 110 outlets up there. Over here on the other side, we have our module for our Gerard. This is for the front one. Your back Gerard will be in the back, um, in the bedroom. And I'll show you that when we get back there. You can control the Gerard slide outs from this box or you can use a remote. Both of them are provided. Manual slide out controls, and then we have our leveling system right there. That is an automatic leveling system. Both captain chairs spin all the way around to join the seating uh, area in the living area. Up top, we have a drop down bed. This has a 500 pound capacity on it, and it is a little thicker, is because we have slats in it that act as leaf springs. So there is some give up there. It's a lot more comfortable than just laying on a flat piece of plywood. And then with the uh, crown molding and the four lights up here, looks, looks very, very nice. We'll come back into the living area. We have a pull-out bed here. It's not an air, like an air mattress, it's an actual pull-out bed. We have the seat belts in there. And then on the other side, we have the theater seating. This is optional. Standard would be a regular sofa, but this one is theater seating here. Inside your armrest, they come with little laptop tables. So we can open this one up. So, so these can come right into there. And then you have a little table. Both sides do come with one. And we have a bunch of storage right here in the middle as well. The TV is on a televator. So when you're sitting in your theater seating, you can look directly across and we have a TV that pops up out of the rear cabinet. Coming back into the galley, we have a stainless steel sinks. It is the farm style sink. We have a thir 13 by 60 picture box window. That is a, that's a big uh, feature to have. We've had some in the past that do not have that window and it makes this area look dark. So that 13 by 60 picture box window is very, very nice. And underneath our solid surface covers, we have an induction cooktop. You remember I said this is a full electric coach, so that's the reason why we don't have a gas cooktop. We have a convection microwave up top, and then plenty of storage throughout the kitchen area as well. And one thing that Fleetwood does a little different is we put ozite lining in our compartments. So that's going to not only makes it look nice, but it reduces the noise from the dishes that you have up in your cabinets. And plus all of our cabinets and our shelving are adjustable. If it's possible, we put adjustable shelving in it. And that's a big feature that I really didn't think about. But if this was fixed in this location, if I had a box of cereal 
we would have to lay it down, which would take up half of your cabinet. But with the adjustable shelving, we can now just lift this shelf up. We can put the box of cereal at the bottom and we have plenty of room for canned goods up top. So it just adds to the uh, versatility of your cabinets and your storage options. Uh, as we've seen earlier, we have our pull-out pantry. If you need just a little bit more prep space, we have a pull-out peninsula right here and then four, or I'm sorry, three more drawers right here. If you're looking for a spot to put that trash can, right here is a good spot for that. As you can see, very large storage there. And the little wire rack on the left is for your solid surface covers. Or if you wanna put a chopping block or something there, cutting board, that's a good spot for that. The dishwasher does come standard. We have an LG refrigerator. The ice maker is in the door and water, and then pull out freezer. Right back behind here is our Firefly multiplex that we talked about up front. So this multiplex is a centralized location where you can come and control almost all the features to your motorhome. You can run your slide outs from here, set your auto gen start, run all of your lights. You can dim your lights down if you want. If you hold down the on button, it'll bring them all back to 100% power all the time. Um, you can check all of your charging methods, everything. So most of your stuff can be controlled here. And again, that can be controlled from your cell phone as well, as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection. One thing I did skip by almost is the dinette. So this is a U-shaped dinette. But one thing I like about this dinette is it has 360 degrees of adjustability. So a lot of them just come up and down, but this one can come all the way out. It can go you got a little kid you can set them right back here and scoot it all the way back to them and then that's just about as wide as my hand so you know your kids will be secure back there as well and then you can just lock it back down and it doesn't go anywhere let's take a look at the mid bathroom so this is a half bath located midship we have porcelain toilet Fleetwood does not use any ASB toilets solid surface countertops with a nice residential backsplash medicine cabinet up top all ozite lined and there is the circuit boards for your firefly and then more storage right here as well the discovery lxc has all hardwood lances as well nice little thing to point out and then we'll go back to the bedroom we have our articulating bed right here which is in the up position right now but right up above this bed we have a camera selector switch so what we can do here is hit this button and it'll display all of our exterior cameras on our tv right here and then we have a lot of little remote panels as well so this will control all the features that you need to control from your bed area and we have them scattered throughout the unit coming over to the wardrobe side right here is either hanging wardrobe and you can hang your shirts or you can use the shelving. Uh, we leave you the option. So however you wanna utilize that. And then this side over here is gonna mirror that. But right underneath your TV, we have some storage up top. This is mainly gonna be for your DVD players, Blu-rays, um, satellites, whatever you wanna put up here, PlayStations, you can do so. But we do have a couple pull-out drawers as well. And then underneath it, both sides has three more drawers right here so you a little more room to put all your clothes and then we have a side-by-side -side washer and dryer it is real pool and back in the bathroom so this is the rear this is the master bathroom right here again solid surface countertops a lot of storage in this rear bathroom Right there's three drawers. There's three more to match it right here. This is a little fold down one if you want to put your toothbrush and stuff like that. And then we have a very large storage area right there. These little pillars look like they're decorative and they are, they look nice, but again, both of them have more storage in them. The shower in the 44B is a good size shower. I am 5'8" but plenty of room in here while i'm in the shower i want to talk about one of the new features that we have for model year 2024 
and that's the shower miser so what that is is just this little blue light right here so whenever you're going to take a shower obviously there's cold water in the lines so if you're dry camping that cold water goes straight into your gray tank and fills up your gray tank prematurely and you're using your fresh water so with the shower miser this light will be blue it basically closes a valve and it will recirculate that water until it warms up so as soon as this blue light turns red you can flip your switch now you'll get warm water so really it's just a feature to help you eliminate filling up your gray tank and utilize your um, fresh water to its full capacity so moving back into the bunk area the 44b is rear bunks but the thing I find really neat about it is there's not many that I'm aware of to where your company can get out of the bunks and still get dressed in privacy. So they can literally shut the door and they have plenty of room to get dressed. All of the other bunk models that I see have the doors right on the bunk bed. So even though they got privacy while they're sleeping, they still have to get out of bed, get in the public area to get dressed. So that, that's a very neat feature to have in the 44B. And then both bunk beds have a lot of storage dedicated to them. So adjustable shelving right there, and they have 110 and USB hookups right here. You gotta be able to charge that tablet, right? So each person does have that. And then each bunk has its own storage area. So again, adjustable shelves if you want the shelves. If not, we have hanging wardrobe right there. And then we have three drawers, rather large drawers too, for each bunk model. So let's say you didn't need the bunks. The only thing we have to do is fold this bunk up, pull this bar out, and now we have a full length wardrobe right here with two dressers and two more hanging wardrobes right here. So this is the ultimate walk-in closet. So that's the walk around of the Discovery LXC 44B. This particular unit has an MSRP of 605,000 two hundred and sixty dollars of course that's not what you're paying that's msrp so make sure you go to fleetwoodrv.com find your closest fleetwood dealer and see what kind of deal they can get you also leave some comments down in the comment section let us know what you think about the 44b and subscribe to our youtube channel we're trying to get out a couple more um, model year 2024 walk around videos and if you like this video found it helpful smash that thumbs up button and we'll see you on the next one